So here we have the pointer. This is very popular in C and C++. C++. So here I'm going to give you an explanation, more or less what it means. If you have question, please send me a message. So here we have the same data type. Try to change the color. Here we have the name of the variable, and here we have the value, right? And this it goes to a memory allocation. So this is address of the memory. So for example, let's start with this one. We assign uh, ten to the variable. And then we get the address 2008. Now, if we want to use pointer, we have the same data type. We have the name, but now for pointers, you will need this special symbol, the asterisk. And then we give the value. In this case, you see this symbol, it represents the address. So what we are doing here is we are declaring the pointer and the pointer will point to the address of the variable va. So actually the pointer is pointing to this number 2008. After that, after we assign the address in this example, now we're going to change the value to 20. So we go to the address 2008 and we assign we assign the number 20 so now the variable this one is equal to 20 why because we are changing the address so now it disappears 10 and it become 20 so var is 20 in the same memory allocation and then we have here a second pointer of a pointer so this is another one so here we are giving second pointer the address of the first pointer 2008 to this pointer and then we are assigning 30 so at the end the variable in allocation memory 00 2008 it will be 30 so if you for example let's go let's say we use python print var it will be the result will be 30 because we change the pointer the pointers are changing right away to memory allocation so remember that about pointers we will try later on and explain it in the code better so you can understand more